I, I actually feel like putting out the record was much harder than running for office. In politics, what was most uncomfortable was it's your name. You know, it's your name on people's yards. It's your name on those signs in the street. And you're asking people to vote for, for you. It's not, you know, three or four steps removed because it's an issue or it's one step removed because it's an album. It's, it's you. And that part, I think, was really uncomfortable. It was, di it was difficult because I didn't know if I was going to win. I really didn't know how it worked, how much money I had to raise, where the money came from. But I didn't feel like I was putting myself out on a limb as much as I did when I put the records out. I mean, I knocked on over 6,000 doors myself. My campaign probably would knock on you know, 10,000 or 11,000 doors. I think that that's the only way you can win in a situation like mine where I had you know, several other opponents, some are well-funded. You know, one had run before and done really well. One had a tremendous amount of money starting off. The other one was a firefighter, so they had the firefighter union doing all their work for them. No one knew, knew me. I wasn't involved in politics before. I didn't have a name. I wasn't from a political family. Uh, there was nothing for them to know about me except that I was new. And so we figured block walking really doesn't cost anything as far as campaign money goes. You can do that the most. Just knock on doors. And I made two or three passes throughout the district. And I think it, I think it made the difference. One of my priorities is to start, start to funnel resources to places that have been traditionally overlooked for the past 20 or 30 years. And in our short time, I think we've started to do that. We can point to certain things and say, that's never happened before, or they've been asking for that. Maybe it's a sidewalk. For 30 years, they never got it, but now they're getting it. And that feels good. From the policy perspective, uh, one of the things I'm working on right now is going after these payday lenders. If you think about it, someone who immediately needs $100 is in pretty bad shape financially, right? And they're probably desperate. And so if they go somewhere like this, you're capitalizing on their desperation. And then by ensuring they can never get out of that debt, you're making them even more desperate, which leads to a whole slew of other bad things. I don't think that we're capable of solving the, the issue or the problem of poverty, but we certainly can't act like it doesn't exist, especially in a city like this. And I believe in the next month or month and a half, we'll have a healthy ordinance and a fair amount of support, and we'll pass it. And I think it'll certainly change the landscape of the way that people are treated by these institutions. I have a constituent, a woman who lives downtown. She's only been in town for maybe six or seven months when I met her. And she said to me, I take the bus everywhere. Everywhere. And she'd made it to events all over the district, up by North Star, on the west side. And she said, if I can take the bus everywhere, you can take it also. And so then she challenged me to take it once a week, and I really didn't have a reason to say no. So I started taking the bus once a week. And it's been cool, actually. I've really enjoyed it. What I think it really helped me understand is what that particular experience is like for them, especially for those who have to ride it on a daily basis, right? When it's raining and super hot, it, it, it makes you more understanding of where they're coming from and much more appreciative for the things that you have. So one of the things I learned very quickly was that most artists, if not almost all artists in San Antonio are working artists in that they make their art between the magic hours of 11 p.m. and 3 a.m., and then they have other jobs. They do other things to make money or support themselves and their families during the day. And so now that I'm in city council and we have some control over arts funding and arts initiatives, and you know, we can, we're trying to help cultivate that 24-7 that art city identity that San Antonio is close to but doesn't have yet. And there's always sort of like the traditional movers and shakers, the ones who have the names that everybody knows. There's tons of talent that hasn't really been given the proper amount of attention. I think that I can help do that. I do hope that whenever the time ends that I'm on council or whatever, my political career ends, that people can say, well, we know that he tried really, really hard. Like the guy put in a Herculean effort. I always say I want to John, I want to John Henry the job, right? I want to do the job until I just keel over. So I would hope that after my time people say, yeah, he tried really, really hard. And, and he tried to do good things. I may not be able to execute all of them, but he tried to do things that were meaningful and worthwhile.